So, uh, there's, uh, there's a hundred thousand of you now. You know, it still feels super unreal to me because a little over a year and a half ago, I vividly remember getting excited that my sixth video had 77 views and maybe one comment. So, to actually have you all here now really just feels like a miracle. I never expected this. I never planned for this. My plan was just to teach you everything I know and try not to waste your time. That was it. That was the whole game plan. And now that the Unity series is over, that mission is complete. When I was 10, I wanted to be a game developer. The first thing I learned how to do was 3D model. Then I had to learn how to UV map. Then texture. Then rig. Then weight paint. Then animate. Then export. Then learn to program. Build an engine. Control rotation. Position. Lerp the camera. Trigger collisions, learn arrays, for loops, make a menu, a save system, a small leaderboard, upload and update it to a site. And now, it's all there. Free for everyone to learn without the bullshit that I had to swim through the first time. I don't keep my best videos behind a paywall. There's no secret techniques or hidden tutorials on my channel. The stuff you see on this channel is my very best and only attempt to share what I know. So please, if you know someone else who's on a similar journey and they don't seem to know where to start, then maybe share a few of these playlists with them. Who knows, it might just save a few years of their life. If you're a patron or a member, when you see all this, I want you to remember that you are literally the reason reason that all this could happen. The reason I can keep going, learn new things, and share what I find here with everyone. If you were in the squad up to three weeks ago, you'll find your name in the credits of the phone game we made in the Unity series. I know it's small, but I feel it's the least I could do to honor the sacrifice you make each month. Not a lot of people can say their names are in the credits of a game on the App Store, but now that's something you can tell your friends if you ever want to share a cool little fact. So I hope you're proud because you were part of that miracle that got us this far. Also to everyone else, thank you so much for constantly supporting the show by leaving likes and comments for the algorithm. I always get a really good laugh when I see someone leave a comment that literally just says algorithm. So I decided to help make your life a little easier by creating this special emoji. So if you're a member who has nothing to say but still wants to leave a comment to support the show anyway, then this emoji is for you. And even if you're not a member or a patron, you can always financially support the show by simply not skipping the ad. Because now that we're going into the anime shader, we are going to be tackling some unknown territory. And we're going to need all the help we can get. Specifically, we're going to be trying to do something I've had my eye on for a very long time, which is creating anime style fight scenes. We know how to model, we know how to animate, and we're about to have the shader. But there's a few things left that we still need to figure out. For example, a huge piece of fights is destructible environments. How it blows up and falls apart is extremely important. The other major thing we need to figure out is special effects. Even the most basic fights are full of effects like sparks, dust, explosions, slashes, speed blurs, and slow motion breakdowns. And luckily there's a lot of tools that people have made that I think we can use to help us accomplish this task. Like procedural environment generators, destructible voxel engines, special effects packs, and IK physics animation control. But these things do cost money. So every time you watch an ad, just know that these are the kind of things that we're saving up for here. Macrophage is going to be our first test at attempting something like this on a small scale, but over time, hopefully we'll have a nice clean workflow pipeline for taking animated characters and giving them badass animations that we can easily throw a bunch of cool special effects on top of in a real-time render environment. So if you'd like to follow us on that journey, up next I will be taking you through our new anime shaders series. Thank you so much for watching, thank you so much for being here. Without all of you here, I could have never gotten this far. So as always, hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you.